Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Iron Panther Presents. Uh, today, Chris, Stacy, and I shall be talking about Your Honor, episode five um, of 10. Make sure I got that right. Um, the things are heating up for Michael and Adam. Um, people know some shit, um, as they should by now. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, Stacey, uh, is all, where would you like to begin? I'm curious as to who's blackmailing Michael. It was, it was the guy at the gas station. Yeah, because he sent yeah. he sent a video. Remember, he was trying to get gas, and he like pulled in front of someone. No, oh, the guy, the guy at, from the bar. No, 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 no. Like there was a customer in a Camry in the first oh, episode. A customer that's black. Man. Yeah, and like so he pulled. Up, I think he pulled up in front of him, and they were arguing about it. And and you heard his voice, but you didn't see him. But at the end of this episode, the guy sent a video clip. To, to Michael, because Michael said, you ain't got no damn proof. And he said, proof, ha, ha, ha. And he sent the video proof. You can see the point of view. So, so for some reason, he started recording this kid getting gas. Like, that makes no... Well, how does that connect? Like, how do you see an argument at a gas station and then link it to a hit and run by the George's kid? I mean, the judge's kid. Like, how do... The, oh, I mean, I don't know. Well, I, I will say, I mean, one thing I'll say is only, but just only on this is that I can see him filming because that, that's, that's beyond people film for all kinds of stupidness. Like they see someone crazy with someone driving slow or like right next to them, they will start filming. Right. So I don't think that part is too far fetched, but everything else, yes, I don't, I don't understand like how you connect. I, I don't, I don't get that. He part. became super detective by seeing the news coverage of the judge and why would the judge even be in the news coverage like the trial took five minutes because kofi confessed so there should be no image of kofi and the judge next to each other like that makes no sense so and it was so again so they were like well it was his car that was stolen unless they showed the car in the news coverage which was crushed immediately after kofi was was killed right mm -hmm. then somehow this guy Chase, figure out the judge, figure out that he was a judge, go to his office, figure out when the, when the place opened, sneak in past the bailiff, drop off a phone, figured out where he lived, went to his house, busted into his house. I was like, what? Like, how, what does this guy do for a living? He better be a detective. He better be a former cop. He better not be just a, a teacher. Like this is a disgruntled teacher that just had a whole much time on his hands. It makes no sense that he, this person could be able to pull all this off. Yeah, unless he, I was thinking it was the person that's in the imaginary Range Rover you keep talking about that actually would have seen it and then maybe followed him to the gas station after that and then connect the dots. Even yeah. more evidence that that, that, there's, that car, that truck is all in his head. It's all in his head. Well, who's, no, but it would be uh, in the kid's head. That's what I'm saying. It's in Adam's head. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, but if it's that imaginary truck, then why is it now in the father's head? Then he didn't see the he didn't see the the, the SUV. What are you talking no, about? No, what I'm what I'm saying is, but he's being threatened. I'm saying if we're going with the theory that it is the imaginary truck that is imaginary sending fake messages about like, hey, we're about to send this photo, or I know that you killed him or something. You know, that's I'm just. No, I got, I got, I got you, I got you. Maybe it's a weird psychosis like we saw on Terror Lake Drive. Yeah. <laughs> Could be sure. The mom and the son were seeing the same dead daddy. It makes no sense, man. Like why? And then none of them go get some counsel for this. I actually thought it was Adam. Since Adam is so, like, he's so broken over this and somehow he wants to go to jail. I thought he was stalking his own father. I thought, cause like who else would have access? Who else would have this information? Like, how did he get into the house? How did said intruder get into the house, right? And, and like, and somehow the dog, so I thought he's blackmailing his own dad. He wants someone to confess. So he's trying to push his dad into like revealing it. I thought at first until I'm, I saw I'm the video. Glad, I'm, glad they did. I'm, I'm glad for one, that don't make no sense, but okay. I mean, like, First off, you're the reason why your father was in that mess to begin with. So just turn your ass in, okay? If that's the case, why would you do have to do all that? You know what I mean? Like, why is he? Why, why is he investigating his father? Like, like if if he's going to do that, but like try to guilt trip his father to what? Turn himself in, motherfucker? You could just do that easily. 
But then we saw go do all that to print to go to Kinko's, print your little piece of paper to put on the damn door, and then you know what I mean. And then like make it so like let me keep the door unlocked so he can freak out when he just pushes it. You know what I mean? Like that's that's extra, bro. That's extra, man. Like just turn yourself in at that point. You know, extra is Adam documenting his own murder, going to the crime scene, picking up evidence, taking pictures of himself, further evidence. Like he's already extra. Him yeah. cyber well, no, well, yeah, that's like for art. That's not the same. No, it's not. He's not doing that to blackmail somebody. Is my point. He did that because he's a art. He's an artsy tartsy dude, and that's just what he does. Is take pictures and shit. Whether whether it be something because he's stupid for doing that, which he which he clearly is. You know, he even put his. I think he, in the first episode, didn't he take a picture of his of his girlfriend teacher? You know as well. Which uh, she's gonna be uh, pushed to the back now. Uh, now, now she got a uh, Miss Fia, Fia Baxter. You know, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, this they're, they're dude is cyber people. stalking. It's now about the bone, the sister of his victim. I don't know if that was his intent. He just wanted to like at least kind of be like give his like I'm talking about when he went to the to the what do you call it to the service cafe that, or to that the was, service. No, no, no. To the service when he when he ran into her, like that wasn't that wasn't his intent to bone her. Just it is now. Can well, we agree that? Well, well it, I mean, well, my intent with any girlfriend I'm finally close with is to bone too. So that doesn't mean shit. I'm, I'm saying the initial meeting with the girl was not that. Is my point. The second meeting is to get ass at this point, and that doesn't make any sense. Like he I, killed this woman's sister. Like he's. He has problems. He's clearly dealing with trauma at this point. Like and he, and the, the fact that he wanted to confess to anyone that will listen, and now that he's inserting himself into the crime, which is like classic for killers for some reason, they want to be involved in, in the situation. This is not going to work out for him, especially now that Daddy De uh, Baxter is going to figure out that his de that Mike was involved, which means Adam did it, which means he's going to kill that kid when he shows up to his house for a date for with his daughter. I don't even. That's going to be hilarious. Nah, I think I think of anything. I think of anything. I think it's it's going to be Michael that's going to take the hit for the for his son. I don't think it's going to be Adam at all. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's. I feel like it's going to be him. They're going to make it. They're going to somehow going to be him. Well, no, no, but then he was also in court at the same time. Yeah, yeah of yeah. other things. So maybe not. But Just, you know, so. Stacey, what, what are your thoughts? I see. I see a head shaking. Um, what are oh my thoughts? I Adam needs to die. I don't know. <laughs> I love I love this Stacy. I I miss this Stacy. It's been a while since I heard her like, yeah, they they all need to die. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. He I'm sure I'm sure in the end he actually unless he kills himself, I think he's actually gonna be all right. Something like this, th they're not gonna let they're not gonna let the Baxters kill him like they should. Like like I, I think I, I think if he if he don't take his own life somehow he's he's gonna he's gonna make it out. So the neighbor that ran out and was like, "Oh, I saw the white man the, with the sudden such leaving your house." Like she didn't see um, Adam do all that stuff when he came home after the murder. And Mike, and Mike out there cleaning up the car, putting that was stuff in her. the car. That was probably her. Maybe she just had a big old crush on him or something, and just didn't say shit. If it, I thought until I saw the video clip of the guy sending him the proof that it was he actually had enough to blackmail him i thought it was a neighbor too i was like maybe the neighbors behind this whole shit because she she watched everything she could get access to the house the fact that she knows them means she she could have went to the courthouse and put the phone there like she would have been a viable person because she knows everything it, but whoever this was a two hundred and twenty thousand dollars is very specific it is yeah that's a good point. Two hundred twenty-two thousand, to be exact. That's a lot of twos. <laughs> like what's <laughs> like he? Maybe, is, that, is that the max you can put into an account or something? Maybe like, oh, I got fidelity. The max I can put in is two twenty-three. So let me do two twenty-two. If if you watch uh, Sopranos or Power, anything you you need to get less than ten thousand before the cops come looking. Apparently, so it's a very high number. Unless this person will research, you know, uh, Mike and realize he has that kind of liquid money, which he doesn't, um, then, then it doesn't make any sense. It's very specific. Let's go. Does. He just couldn't get it out at once. Because, like, if you go to a bank, if you had a million dollars in the bank, you can't just go and be like, oh, okay, I need my million dollars right now. They have to, like, arrange. 
for that money to be sitting there. That's why he was saying he needed 48 hours. But he's talking about 401ks and that kind of, I mean, it's like he's pulling it out of savings. He did, He's not that kind of liquid that he just has like in a, in a savings account, is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So he started, yeah. he started by going I to mean, the- well, I guess, but that kind of proves my point. Remember what we were saying, maybe episode one or two or something, you were saying something like, he's a judge. He should be able to afford this. I'm like, not all judges are rich. And that's why I was trying to, the point I was trying to make to you is that, especially if you saw his house and his, me- and his kids slash mother's messed up car, he ain't a wealthy dude. You know what I mean? Like, he's like middle class. How know. about the baller Beamer he's driving now? Like, sure. when, when did he get that? Like, I, you know what? No, no, don't do, don't, don't use the beam. You know how many people I see out here with riding beamers? Now ask me about if, if they're rich. The but beamer, okay. I understand people leave shit and they may be, my, my store question still stands. When did he get that damn beamer? Because he's been running around like Forrest Gump, like for the last few episodes. Now all of a sudden he has a, she, she, I mean, his wife passed. Maybe she had life insurance. Who knows? It know? just, it's like, I, I don't, it just don't make any sense. Like the Beamer just came out of nowhere. It's nice. But now he's not, instead of running home, like he used to in the other episodes, now he's driving home trying to, trying to figure out if somebody's broken into his house and killed his son and Adam being an asshole, don't want to answer the phone. I'm like, <laughs> Oh, this kid. Like, I mean, he, he should let him just really get murdered. But let's talk about as, as up until now, we've been talking about no one's doing any basic investigative work like just some basic shit even when a a, a a criminal confesses you go and look into it you find witnesses you find evidence it takes the baxters it takes the gangsters to go maybe we should look into the evidence and listen to the phone call and go wait a minute this is not the same phone call gina's like this must be a second phone call let's further investigate this i'm like what they, none of these questions were at, huh? Well, Where's the cell phone? Exactly. Exactly. Gina and should have been asking that question. Jimmy should have been asking that question first and foremost. Where is my son's phone? Where is it? And if they didn't get him from Kofi, maybe because Kofi didn't do it. Like, where the hell is the phone? Exactly. Where the hell is the phone? Like, what, what did Adam do with it? Is it still in the house? Yeah, no, it's it's... I, no, no, he threw it in the water. Didn't he? Didn't he throw? He threw something into the to the to the sea. I I do remember seeing him toss something in there. I can't remember what it was. I bet you still got that phone. No, if he, he has probably, that bloody rag. I just, I just remember. Then, then what? What was it? He threw in. No, I, I'm I'm agreeing with you. I'm just saying. I don't remember him oh, going oh, to the oh, water, oh, but I mean, he, I don't think he's smart enough to throw away the phone. Like I, I think he's too traumatized. He didn't throw away the phone. My my I, question is, what did he throw in the water? I don't know. You know what I do know though, that that uh that inhaler is still in play with blood on it. And Frankie is gonna is gonna become CSI and be like, hey, uh, how about we actually look into this inhaler that I found uh, at the crime scene that nobody gave a shit about or even talked about, but I still picked it up and kept it in my pocket like a souvenir. Um, but how about we look into that, which is has I'm sure has Adam's name on it on the prescription for the inhaler, and then he'll be like, ching. Uh, but Mike is going to be extremely fucked now. So now he uh, is not only being blackmailed by a random dude who his son cut off at a gas station, but now he's going to have gangsters coming after him, as he should. Mm-hmm. Um, what's up? Yeah. Oh no. So no. Let, let, let's talk about the leader of of the uh, of Desire, which I hope maybe she named Big the crew. Mo. Big Mo. Hey, let's go. I was impr- so I felt conflicted about this character, right? I was, I, from a progressive standpoint, I was impressed that a, a, a black woman was in charge of this gang, like all by herself. Like I was like, okay, we got a matriarch. That's 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 progressive. Okay, I was like, I like that. And then I was quite disappointed when she goes to confront the Baxters, trying to act like she ain't scared of these people, trying to act like, and I I know she was probably trying to put on a front, like she could handle going to war with the Baxters, which obviously she can't. Okay, but telling the Baxters the evidence, let's talk about dates, right? Like, he's like, your son was killed on the 9th. Kofi was arrested on the 10th. This is some basic numbers, right? Like, y'all never thought about this? It's like, that's a good point, lady, that you bring up to me. We got to do our due diligence. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. What I mean, you're saying is true. Well, well the thing is, so, so, but I think what, what it, <laughs> huh? I think what it exposed really was, here's the, and, and just think about the actual, 
the, the, the legal system as it stands now, right? When, especially, I, I hate to say this about, I mean, I don't know. I keep hearing stories. From, I, I heard stories from, from my dad when he was on the force and shit like that. It's like, when they think they, they got their, their man, Everything, a lot of stuff gets ignored because they're just like, oh, we got our guy. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, well, yeah, we can do the court thing too, but like, we got our guy. And that's why, like, for example, like when you ask that question, like, why, why wouldn't the cops listen to the 911 tape? Well, they thought they had their guy. And I hate to, exp- I mean, the, expo- the thing that exposes is um, what you see on TV with like, what, ha- what you see in Law and Order does not, is not always true. In the sense of like, they don't always do their, especially if they, if like something heinous happens to a kid, for example, if a kid is like sexually assaulted, raped, some or whatever, something like that. Oh yeah, like the whole evidence thing. They're like, oh, there, all y'all saw him, whatnot. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can kind of listen to nine one one tape or whatever. But oh no, but he, oh this is a dude. He's going away, and I, I felt like that's kind of what, the, what, it kind of exposed here necessarily. I don't necessarily look at it as like. Well, what the hell would the cops think? Well, yeah, I mean, it is what the hell the cops yes. think. But at the same time, but that's real life, is my point. That is, unfortunately, is what you see. But with Ge- real life, but with Gina Baxter, she yeah. kept on listening to the first nine one one call just to hear her son breathing. Right. So someone gave her that call. How yeah. did no one give her the second call until now that she's like, wait a minute, whoever they called the person back, like, how did she not get the second call? Did Until he now, the phone huh? The time? Did he answer the phone the second time? Yeah, he put like it because he didn't know what was happening. So he was at the gas station and it turned on. And when he heard the when he heard the the, the nine one one operator's voice, that's when he like he was he was arguing with the guy in the back who's now blackmailing him. And then he hung up the phone. But I'm like, both of those calls should have been rec- recorded and given to the Baxters the first time. And this, and these questions would have came up then. Let me tell you this: if you if you would have gave the Baxters that phone before Big Mo talked to him. Do you think that they would all of a sudden be like this great detectives all of a sudden and be like, you know what I noticed? Yeah, yes, like yeah, we we killed we killed that boy. We killed that Kofi Jones that killed, killed our son. Oh, and like maybe now I can hear my son's voice. Wait, I can't hear. Damn it, I'm not he- able to hear. I I seriously doubt that they would have been like, hold on, that kid can't be the killer. No, Big Mo gave them something to kind of hang on to, and then that's what kind of helped them. To fix, you know what I mean? I seriously doubt if you would have just gave them that tape without having that big old discussion with Big Mo, you know what I mean? That that would have like changed anything. I think hearing the voice and dare I say, a white voice, they would have been like, "That's that's not Kofi." Like there's there's something there's something wrong with this. Like and even from a cop's perspective, they would have they would have been like, "Where's the fucking phone?" Gina should have asked for that. Period. Where is the phone? Show me the bloody clothes. Give me something. As much as she wants every piece of her son's murder, she would have asked for that stuff. It wasn't until now that Jimmy's like, where's the fucking clothes? Like, where's the phone? Why we didn't see any of this stuff? And again, I don't know why uh, what's, uh, the, the henchman didn't look into the, the, the inhaler again. Why would they show? Why did Frankie go? Let's look. Anyway, it's all going to get looked into now. But it was, again, the fact that it took two gangsters to go down there to these gas stations and do the basic detective work that none of the cops did was hilarious. And to show the newspaper, and they were like, the guy was like, yeah, he loves his bourbon. I was like, I hope they don't walk away thinking they're talking about Kofi. Please don't let this happen. And they're like, yeah. yeah. I mean, but, but again, would you, again, they could have gone to the gas station way before, but it wasn't until Big Mo's mouth, uh, once again. Why didn't they do that before? Why did they have to take big moats? Who knew about the gas station? Hmm? Until they got the tape. Yeah. And which I'm saying, which is my point that, that, that I'm saying like the big mo. But I'm saying all big big mo just gave a story. Big mo just gave a story and why you can't you shouldn't be killing us anymore. So they had to do, you know, some some <laughs> due diligence to even check in the story. She gave no evidence yeah. except for the fact of the dates, which well, again, I, I guess, the guess is my point should, with the cop. I, I guess I guess my point with the cops, Kofi didn't give him no story. He just said guilty. So at that point, you're gonna stop, 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 stop. I would say Lee to we said this before, Lee should have did some basic investigation just to defend her client. <laughs> like she should have looked at the date and yeah. did nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like she should have came up with yeah. some of this evidence. And yeah, that her, her, good... yeah, now, now her, yes. Her, yes. I'll give you that. But I'm saying the cops, someone pleading guilty, like you okay, well shit. He, 
Like, why, why would he put himself out there? Like, when you ask the story, Chris, yeah. that's part of the, it's how did you do it? Where did you go? You document it. It's not just a, oh, I yeah, did it. Sure. okay, go to jail. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm just saying, I don't know of a single case when someone says, I I'm guilty, that I'm still, even after the fact, still decide to go in. Like, after you talk to the kid or whatever, still decide to start going to every little location. You know, see what I'm saying? Nah, that, that's that's not what they do in courts, is my, you know. Right. But, well, anyway. So what I'm, we, we maybe they should. I'm saying they should. I'm just saying that's in real life. That's that that doesn't happen. Okay. Like someone right. please guilty, and they're like, okay, close the book. All right, man. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's, let's say what, what you thought. I see. I see you trying to say something. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I'm good. I'm just listening. All right. Yeah. I don't know. Yo, I want to see, man. I want to see what. Uh, um. Damn. 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 Um, what, what's, 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 what's the homie's name? Hold on. I, I got it right here. Uh, I want to see what Carlo and his boy is about to do. You know, him, him and the young kids, him and Chet Hanks and all of them. That's, oh, that's, that's cool. barely recognize him. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. He got the facial hair growing or whatever. It was kind of hard to, yeah. I, at first I was like, that kind of looks like Chet. I was like, oh, it is Chet. I was like, all right. All right. That's what's up. So. I, I like though Carlos face when he heard the thought that he may have killed the wrong guy, like that really affected him. Like he was like, Oh shit. Like, Oh, I, I, I beat the wrong kid to death. Um, yeah. yes, yes, you did. So it'd be interesting again to see how that drives him to either confirm that he, that no, again, no, no, no. Kofi was the guy like Kofi was the guy or are they, are the bachelors truly okay with the idea that you know, we need to take a step back. We need to go figure out like what really happened now, now that they got Mike's face, they're going to be showing up in his courtroom um, and, and, and maybe his house, you know, quickly enough. But like Adam is going to be, is going to be brought, again, they don't, this was in the desires neighborhood, right? So are they going to go down and talk to them to be like, who saw the crime? Like who, who was there? Like, was anyone actually there? Like go talk to people who were there. Clearly the Baxters are running their own investigation now. So are they going to mark they, off the crime that scene? Escalate. That, that, that pretend escalate you're, you're claiming somehow that, they, you know, that's coming back. But then, then it's gonna become mad. Then it's gonna be real. I say again, anyone who watches our video on a regular basis, it doesn't exist. For so, I, I mean, we will find out why Adam is seeing an escalate, what that even means, and why he's all fucked in the head. But he is fucked in the head, and the escalate doesn't exist. Okay, but that's that's not that's neither here nor there. Um, again, back to Big Mo. Um, I was disappointed that she didn't know what due diligence meant to the Wait, point that even after. Jimmy goes, no, we just got to check into this. When we talk to Mr. Diligence, you let me, you tell her to look into this. She actually said that shit. And I'm like, ignorance. Like, why, why? Do you oh, that was a nigga. I thought it was maybe it was, oh. I no, 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 she, no, she meant that. No, she said that with all seriousness. Cause then she, then she threw the toothpick. Like she actually dropped the mic. And she was like, well, once you find out that, this, that the shit is the shit, you gonna let you know you gonna know we were wrong. They just walked, she dropped the, the pick and walked out. No, she really meant what she said because she felt she said it with confidence and intelligence that she did not. Yeah. And I was that's just I was like, why do why fair. why does she have to be this ignorant? Like you can't that, why I was, was that necessary? Come on, man. Not, not I mean no, you never she was like, and it was unnecessary. Huh? What because of due diligence? Yes, that's some basic that's that's some basic shit. Like, I mean I mean, every every part of the every part of the country you think necessarily. We're not gonna do this, Chris. I mean, I'm not. I'm, well, no, I'm not doing it. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, don't, don't she can do some basic here. education. Like this, these these are not big words. You know, I'm, what I'm saying I'm like, I was I was upset. Like, like, like the term due diligence for me, for for example, I I didn't hear it until I got much older and became an adult necessarily. You know what I mean? And, and only she was an adult. Watching, huh? And she wasn't, it wasn't like it was a vocabulary word, unfortunately. Sorry. So, you know, know. Bl blame down the school system for me, you know. But, I just, I just, it was, a, it was I, I hear you. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. it was a bad moment. But, but I don't know, I don't know, we want to call her ignorant just because of one damn vocabulary word. Like, let's look at, let's look at, her, at what she does in the next five episodes before we start to do, you know what I mean? Like, I will say that if this is the first time, or maybe very few times, that Baxter has met his gangster counterpart in the Desires crew. Yeah. I think it's the first time I remember his reaction. He said, he said, what are you doing in my hotel? She's like, you look shocked. He is not impressed. Is what I'm saying. Like, it's like, it's like this is what I'm, I'm like, what? Like, this, this is what we're dealing with, huh? 
now, now they don't go into the story on why the desire would even attack the Baxters. Like, what's the back gangster story that they've been beefing or whatever that well, they would they, even they do did. that? They, they briefly talked about it. Um, it was very brief. I'm obviously they're going. I think they're going to expand on it, but it had to deal with Carlo. It had to be do with the son. <clears throat> um, he killed like, the black. He killed the desire. Yeah. He killed the black kid. Yeah. He killed and the black person. Started, I know. Started that. something really small, and it started something, and then they squat, and then they 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 had a truce. You know, what I mean, so it was because of the kid. You know, the reason why how Carlo got in prison in the first place. That's right. He killed. He killed. Yeah. He killed the black kid. He did. Yep. He did. Yeah, and that started something between the Baxters and Desire, and then you know, then they kind of seemingly squashed everything, and then this happened. You know what Maybe I mean? They should so. trade their firstborn sons and start a church. I know, right? Like go. That never. That Stacey. Look, is Lil Mo and Carlo need to switch. <laughs> And then, oh, someone's gonna die within minutes, dude. Lumbo, <laughs> oh man, Lumbo and that's Carlo cool, need to man. switch and be like, we will take care of each other's sons, and we'll see ooh, how this. Oh, ooh. that that's great. Bro, that's, that ain't that's gonna great, work, Stacy. That's the that's the new that's the new truce <laughs> that we, we we will take care of each other's sons for a year and see how this oh, works man, out. Not, it ain't it ain't we're lasting a day. It ain't lasting a day. <laughs> It ain't so, laughing a single day. It was like, so like pop, pop, little Mo goes crazy. Someone's beating <laughs> up on Carlo. Like, it's like, it's like, you said, say the N word again, Carlo. Say it. Like, it's going to be something. He said, like, I'm going to get my twisted T on you. Get my twisted T in your face. You know? <laughs> I'm interested why Mike didn't call anybody when he gets the blackmail call. Like, he don't call Charlie to be like, Charlie, I'm about to get blackmailed for some shit that you set up. Like, like, Oh, you know, it's not like, well, that's Adam. I'm sorry, Adam actually did that. It's Adam's fault. I'm sorry, but he should call Charlie to be like, "Hey, can you help me out? Get some cops on this." I, oh, I don't think he wants to involve Charlie in this anymore. Remember his reaction, like after the barbershop when Charlie was like, "What you get into, me, Mike?" And then whatever, and then he he profusely pots like, I, "I'm sorry, like I'm so I'm so sorry involving you and all this." I don't think now at this point he, you know, yeah, you're right. He, I, I it might have maybe benefit him or whatever, but. I don't know if he wants because again, remember they said that like they they're that's his best friend or whatever. I don't think he he's he's done like he realized I screwed up at, like involving him in the first place. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to involve him even further. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think you know what I mean that's that's how I look at. It. Well, wait, 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 Stacey. I saw, I saw you talking. Um, I thought the cop was gonna snitch on Charlie when he came there with the thumb drive. Yeah. Oh. He's gonna be like, oh, Charlie called me and told me to do X, Y, and Z. That's not the same cop. That's not oh, the same cop. Not. No, no, no. Oh. You, the, the, the guy you're calling, he's like much skinnier. Like the guy, the guy, the, the chubbier yeah, Italian yeah, like guy, the mustache or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not the same. It's not the same cop. Yeah. yeah. This this guy's been working for the Baxters from the beginning. He's the one that they called about rushing the forensic evidence to look into stuff. Yeah, I'm and that cop, the, the other cop that works for Charlie, he wants to one day, like hopefully, if if Charlie becomes a uh, uh, mayor will, will make him like lieutenant, like 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 the uh, chief of police or something. I think it was chief of police. Yeah, yeah. He said he says that. Yeah. So basically, basically, what we're looking at is the departed. We're like you got cops inside the department on different sides of the law, like all kinds of different sides of here. You know what I mean? And they all got their own ambition. So it'd be well. So even so, with the cop involved, I'm saying if Mike would have called Charlie to say, "Hey, someone is blackmailing me." I have a picture of the car because because Mike does Mike does I mean he was actually gonna try to look for this guy anyway because he took a he took a picture of the driver's license and from the from the um from the security cam f footage then Charlie can get the cop to investigate and arrest this dude or just get him off the board until until they until they resolve this issue so the cop could be helpful Mike does not have time to be a detective slash judge slash defense attorney because every time he turns around he's helping some defendant get off get get out of court. It's like every time, I was like, everything's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, son. What, what are you here for? Drugs. Look, let me help you out. Get off the bench, Mike. You don't want to be a judge anymore. Like you want to be a defense attorney. Like do that. Like and, and you and you can probably get a lot of people off. But he's always like, did we talk about the stolen meat yet? Because before we wrap this shit up, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get into the stolen meat thing. No. What's up, Chris? No, it wasn't about the stolen meat. So, so go talk to your thing. It was about. Now I want that to be the end. I want to, we need to have some conversations. I'm just oh, gonna no, rant no. about the meat. I was about to say. I want. I want to. I. I mean, okay. So I'm familiar with because I, you know, because I had to sign stuff from like wills to like estate stuff, property and stuff. So, 
at least here in Maryland, Maryland, I'm familiar with like some of the court processes and just how it is. I don't know of like you just being able to access certain courtrooms to just be able to just go to walk into them and just to sneak to put in unless I mean I don't know maybe it is the cop maybe the dirty cop did that or or no it wouldn't be the dirty cop because again it was that's right it was the white it was the the random dude sorry so yeah. I don't know how like why your stuff isn't locked matter of fact when you go in to at least the courts around here you you're, you're not even allowed to bring cell phones in you can't bring a cell phone in Matter of fact, there's a metal detector and then there's a second, they do a secondary search. Can't bring, at least in Maryland, at least or in Prince George County, you, you're not, you can't bring a cell phone in, you know what I mean? So you got to keep it in a lockbox and only if you have like a permission to bring it in, you can, you know, you're allowed to, like if someone's graduating or something other than that. So I don't know. That seems like a whole lot that this person did that this black male was doing just to, well, that is a lot of money, a specific a lot of money, by the way, 222000 to be exact. Um, you know what I mean? Um, that this, must, yeah, that was so, yeah. So I, I just, I just thought that was kind of odd. Like I get it. Okay. The bailiff don't want to stay there all day. Fine. He can kind of go out, but that should be locked. Right? Like, I don't know. Be. And this dude was able to stealthily get into the courtroom, figure out where the drawer to put the phone in, yeah. knowing that no one else is going to look in that drawer. I was like, this is too much. Like, and not, I, not, not that d- doesn't like, don't like different, like judges occupy that same room. Sometimes that's not his necessarily his. I freak- thought so too. You're saying it's not just his courtroom. Like they rotate yeah. or some shit. I, oh, I, don't, I mean, I don't, it, it's, I think that's his courtroom. I think that's his. Oh, okay. okay. I mean, because the ba- so, so he knew when he was on the, the the clock. I guess somehow he's been tracking his whole schedule. Like he knows when he's on the clock. He knows when the bailiff comes in. I'm maybe, like, this is- maybe it was like Tariq. Maybe it was like Tariq, where he's just sitting back at Riley's thing, like okay, like paying attention or something. Well, you we know? saw Adam hanging out in the courtroom before, just chilling. Which is yeah. why I thought it was Adam, because I'm like Adam knows the courtroom. That. I was like, I, that's why I thought this whole thing was Adam. That's why I thought until you know again until I saw the video footage and I'm like, nah, it's the guy in the, in the Camry. It makes it makes no damn sense. This dude better be a professional, like per criminal, and just happened to get lucky that he recorded this kid committed a crime. And now he needs some money. This better not be some random ass dude with a random ass job who all of a sudden turned like like extortionist. Like speaking of random dudes with random jobs, so they went and found Kofi's dad. Yeah. 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 So they were drinking pickle juice for breakfast, and you just working in Kinko's, like chilling. Yeah. Hey, I mean, she kicks you out. Kicks you out. You're lost. He's still a child supporter or something. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't, well, no, but he was, remember, he was much older than eight. Was he eight, over 18, I'm assuming, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, if he ain't, he ain't got, he ain't not even got paid for it. So, shit. Like, F that. Yeah. Like, but you damn, know what I mean? Dude, I mean, that was a lot. I mean, that's, that's a lot going on. They'd be like, we all got different dads. I was like, well, all, all right. Well, let's, let's chase them all down to see if we get. So where's his dad? Because maybe we get we can get um, Eugene some some actual, like, like protection, a shelter that doesn't require him selling drugs for the rest of his life. It really did. You would have think the state would have stepped in him and like, okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The same thing with, with, with Ghost. Like, how do you end up with fucking Kate? But anyway, that's another show. Nah. What? Yeah. Nah. This it, kid it, it, has it, it, no it, it, family. Yeah. How in the it, world did the state just let him stay with you? You'll figure it out, kid. Like, what? It, this is unforgiving for you if you were, because I think, because then they said, like, if you're, uh, okay, so what was he, like, 17 or something like that? In certain states and whatnot, like, if you were over, like, a certain age or whatever, even though you're not seen as being 18, they, you know, it's, I don't know, man. Some states are just unforgiving, man. It, 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 it sucks. It Eugene sucks. is maybe 10. Like, he, he ain't nowhere near old enough to be like, he's what? 10, 30, how old do you think he is? How old do you think Bro, he is? first off, okay. He's sometimes teen. Huh? 13, 13? He ain't no 16. No. All right. Well, he's not 10. <laughs> My bad. So let's say let's say 13. Can we say 13? Okay. I, I don't, but okay. If you, if you want to say that. I'll go 13, 14. I'm looking it up now. He was born, to, uh, was born in 2002, so he'll be 20. I mean, 18, sorry. He would have been 18. Probably when they filmed it, it was probably, I guess he would have been technically 17. But he was an actor, seventeen year old. The yeah, the, the act, the actor himself was born two thousand two, July twenty, uh, July twenty twenty third, two thousand two. He's not playing a seventeen year old. No. I don't. You don't know that. Well, did they say his age? 
you get as to, he, Kofi he, was what 17, 18. He yes. Oh, yeah, he was an older brother, right? So this, oh, he this had to he's, be, playing, he's playing he's playing 14, 14, 14, 15, maybe. 14, yeah. 15, maybe. The point yeah. is why child protective services would have been, like, been like, hey, you need to go somewhere. They wouldn't just be like, figure it out. Like, no, like he would be in child protective services right now. So that doesn't make any sense. And certainly not not available to be raised by the gangsters who got his son, his his whole family killed in the first place. Like yeah. just because they give you a bed and some nice sheets, now he's like, I guess I'm committed to y'all for and life. Money, too. And that and, threat count. A little and the night threat count again, but again, ghost and ghost got to go with, 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 with Tommy with, with Tommy and Kate after yeah. that dad got killed. Just roll on out. And a big old wall of money that you know that he turned in. See, my thing is, what if he didn't even pay attention to that money that she left on the exactly? Like, like, what if she he didn't just see it or whatever? And then someone some other random random is like exactly find his keepers and he, and he said, oh, so you keeping the money? He's like, and he'd be like, what money? Like, your whole thing, like, damn, that was rent. Like, I mean, like, like, now it's ruined. Like, <laughs> and what is he going to, let's say he took the money. What the hell is he going to do? Get an apartment at 15? Like, Motel 6 or something? I mean, it just, it, like, again, Little Mo gave him a roll of money the first time. He was like, hey, man, here's a few dollars. Figure it out. Well, you know, when when the brother got killed, now your whole family gets killed. Now you get an extra extra roll of money. You know what? He actually little more actually saved his life when he yes. got in that role because remember he said buy, buy your fa- he said buy your family some 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 groceries. Yes. And what did he do when that thing floated? He bought he brought some groceries some food. back. Yeah. So in a awkward in a weird way, he he saved, he saved them. them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lee, uh, anyway, okay, uh, real quick. Uh, so I, Lee, uh, driving down in the in, in the Mercedes, um, to uh, to the projects. It was probably I, I I don't think that was a good idea. That's just me. But uh, her her trying to her trying to save the you know, the, the little boy. I'm like this. You probably could have better way to do that. Like clearly, you could have got robbed. You know, at, at some point. Like that's that's not a good thing. You know, so you kind of bring attention to yourself. And 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 uh, yeah, it was, it was a bit much. But let's see let's see where this goes. What, what's up, Stacey? And apparently, cops don't drive Mercedes, so that's how they can tell. Well, right? No, no, I mean, well, just think about it. If you are really trying to do a sting, you are you going to come up in a really fancy car? No. Yes. Richard, the show you can I afford the drugs. Hey, hold on, dude. The show okay. you can afford All drugs. Right. Yes. I need to share with you, share with you some actual cop stories that I've been hearing from my own family. That is not how that works, bro. They, they, it's called blending in. You blend in if you're a cop. That's why he even said that. It's like, it's like you driving this. Like you're a cop. Like nah. If you're tr- really trying to set me up, you will be wearing something. Have a beat up or whatever. You know what I mean? No, they do not have no. They do okay. not just announce themselves on purpose and then just say, hey, can I have some uh, drugs? Uh, the actual ingredient name being that. Like no, dude. They don't. You know, come on, man. They don't do no obvious shit. But rich people get drugs too so like so that no uh, come on so th- that's our exact point rich people get drugs too and they're stupid yeah. enough to drive their own cars down there to get drugs so so so, so you saying the cops would drugs. Use reverse psychology so you saying the cops would use reverse psychology to make you think you're a rich motherfucker and then therefore i'm gonna drive a mercedes he's like oh he can't be a cop yeah, yes yes no. Yes. Anyway, the, 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 the point is, the point is, I don't think, the they're, is, thinking, I don't think they're thinking that deep, bro, but okay. All the right. point is, Lee should not have gone down there, and I'm saying, and it's like, it, it, it well, well, clearly she's still in play, so we'll see where this goes because she's still committed now to help the family afterwards. Um, can, can we get to the meet now? Is it any, any, any substantive you want to talk to? You and all right, so as we see in this show, uh, Judge Mike. Um, has a tendency to have a lot of minority, mostly black uh, defendants that uh, men that he's trying to and women that he's trying to point in the right direction because poor black folks need a white man to save them. And in this particular scene, we got a father um, who at least knew his story, so you knew it was true because that one black dude that came up with that bullshit, like Mike, just came ran just ran down the story and he was like, "Nah, dude, you're lying, so you got to go." But this guy was like, "I want my I." It's a sympathetic story. My wife kicked me out. I'm basically homeless. I want my son to be proud of me. I lost my job. It almost reminded me of um, Dead Presidents because it's all about the butcher shop. It kind of reminded me of Dead Presidents to, to, to a little bit. But when this dude's like, I stole meat for the cookout, a lot of money of meat. That's a very expensive meat. Like, how much meat did you steal? Were you? That's a lot of meat. Like, that was I, a lot of meat. You know, he used to take like one little thing and stuff it, and then go to another store and get another little piece. Not that I know any of this, but I'm just saying, like, 
you don't I see Stacy doing that. I guess he's like, <laughs> it's like I was you like, got it. it's like it Stacey, was... why you got all that pad? I'm like, damn, this is like damn Stacy, you get your butt done? Like, what, what is that? It's like, is that Angus? Do you got what Angus beef, baby? You got some real oh, she got some I'm... you got some flay bignon under your ass. Like, what do you what, what do you got it? under there? Oh, oh, she got it all. She ain't she ain't get just get the Brazilian Brazilian butt lift. She got her boobies done too. Like, oh, oh wait. She uh-huh. got the Cardi B treatment. My 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 point is this. Why, man? Why does it have to be a black man that stole this meat to say I want my son to be proud of me? I the stealing meat. That I, it's, I'll put that aside. That's some stupid shit. But like, why again? Do all these people got to be black men? Like, why? It's the district. It's the district they're in. No, Chris. No, it's casting. Judge. It's when you fucking casting. Judge, like, you don't vote for your entire county. It's casting. You don't vote for your entire city. You vote for your district. The creators the of the show, almost every casting. single district is different as far as race, correct or no? Your district is gonna be different from my district, correct? Do you, what district is this no, in, see, you're pausing, come, come on, man. I'll say yes, what district is this being shot in, Chris? Do you know? I don't know, but he's no, a judge, he has So no let's not go down this conversation. Just like it's cop, called just casting. Like cop, just like a cop belongs to a certain district as far as like- Oh my the, God. Like there's certain jurisdiction, jurisdiction, okay. same so thing. He's, with, he's like, in the black district. So Judge Mike is in the black district. I, I, I guess that's what we're saying. No, I mean, I get clearly. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, sure. But, but you don't, but I mean, yeah, I'm, it, I'm sure you got some white people in there too. Apparently not. Apparently only black folks commit crimes and go to this man's court and beg for forgiveness from the black, from the white judge. That's what we see. And I'm tired. Fuck. Like this, it irritates me, man. It, it just irritates me. It's just a constant, oh, stereotype on top of stereotyping this shit. It just I irritates mean, me. No, Before the show is over, I need a white defendant. I need a white defendant to come in there and just break the monotony. You know, you know break the monotony. Good. Carlo was white. He killed someone. He went to jail. Show me a white person that's, go, that's going to jail. Just, that's all I'm, I need. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure you'll get one if they do a reboot of Beverly Hills Cop or something. Okay, just, like, they do that, then you, you'll get that. And, like you'll get something that's based off of Beverly Hills. Like I, I didn't know this. This, this makes sense to me. Like, like when I go again, when I go to court. I hate to say it, I only see really only one. Like, yes, now judges might be different or whatever, because that's just where they belong to, you know, but but for the most part, you, you go by, by your jurisdiction in your district. Right. And that's just how we are, unfortunately, as human beings. Uh, all right, man. Okay. Black folks commit crimes on average and still meet. Uh, I, okay, no, I got it. No, got but it. that, I that got district, it. there were more black people. You just have more black people in that district. I'm pretty sure if you had a different district, different judge in a different district of Louisiana, you might have a different, you, you're going to be like, why is there so many white people? Why, where's the white, or black people aren't coming quick, commit crime? You know, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. The due diligence and the, and the, and the, and the, and the meat stealing. You really don't it's, like it's, this. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a lot of unnecessary stereotypes in this fucking show. I don't think show. there's a lot, but okay. Like it's, it, it is, it just is. But I, yeah, if, if you want, fine. All right, agree, disagree. But we agree, okay. disagree, man. It's fine. All right. It's, the pickle juice for breakfast together. <laughs> See? That that was too far. No, I'll give you some damn pickle juice, but that other, nah, that other stuff, nah, man, you can't. You know, I can't let that go. Seeing how I got family in, in this whole thing, it doesn't. Nah, that's that's common. That's common. But pickle okay. juice for breakfast. No, I'm talking about the court stuff. But oh. no, I, I, I give no the other stuff that we talk about some ghetto stuff. Oh yeah, I'm with y'all. I just saying when it comes to the whole damn di- district again, district which apparently I guess we don't, a lot of people don't be voting because they clearly don't understand how judges work unless it's called the Supreme Court, apparently, you know, like that's, that's just who you're assigned to. You're only assigned to one area. You can't just, I can't get people from a different area. No, you get to people like, where did the crime co- commit? And that's the, that like, it's, that's where you get it. But I get it. You know, I, I hate to say it, but us black people, we like to find, randomness of like, oh, stereotype, like this stereotyping black people and, and you know, I don't know, but fine, that's just, so I'll, I'll let it go, I'll let it go. Yes, fine, there should be some white people, fine, white people. Hey, okay. let my people go, like Moses, let my people go, okay. All right, man. All right, question. so we will be here for episode six uh, next week. Uh, thank you guys uh, very much for watching. What do you think the episode, how do you think it's gonna end the end of the day? Who's gonna die, who's going to jail? Um, who is this mystery uh, extortionist? Have we seen him? Is this story going to be well written that somehow you're going you're gonna to look back on him like, oh, I saw that guy in the courtroom. I saw that guy walking down the street. Or is it going to be some random ass dude that we've never even seen before? Because uh, either way, 
Uh, we didn't know what's going. Dude. I would have no doubt. If we if we have no idea who this person is. It's gonna be the homeless dude. It's gonna be the homeless dude. It's gonna be him with the squeegee. <laughs> yeah, Somehow he was able to afford that phone to drop down in his this court. It's gonna be him. He knew what's up. When he was watching the windshield, he probably looked like, oh damn, that's a lot of blood. Oh yeah, damn sir, no. Like and then like yeah, that's. He, he, what that's did right. Mike do with that bloody rag? After oh, he put it into his pop pocket. After the Django thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, so the Django, I was so glad. So so Django just didn't. I, I want to, that, that's a good point. But first, let me say about Django. So he wasn't poisoned. It was really what it was is they, he didn't get his treatment. That's what it yes, was. Yes, Adam forgot okay. to give him his medication. I was about to say, yo, I would have gone, because I was about to change his background. I was about to have some John Wick shit going on. I was oh, going to hurt the dog. The guy would hurt yeah, the dog. Yeah, I was, was going to say, like, it's like it was just the damn dog. Like I would have been like at that point, if if it turned out that he did that guy that did something to the damn dog, I would have gone Liam Neeson. Like I don't know who you are, but I'll find you, and I'll make you pay. Like I, it, yeah, man. At that point, I was like, you know what? Fuck your money. I'm a. I'm a, hey, I'm a you know once, the, once Jimmy and Frankie find the Baxters, that dog may not make it either. Remember, remember Jimmy beat the shit out of his own bird. You know what I'm saying? You know when 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 uh, when the son got killed. So that dog, that dog may not make it either. Let, yeah, let's, but let's, let's not hold, hold I hope for the dog. And, but like as far as the anger goes, let's be honest. Like if your rabbit hamster dies or whatever, fish dies. It it yeah, it sucks, and you might cry for like couple of hours maybe a day your dog dies um that that's that's pretty traumatic at least it was for me so and it clearly was for keanu reeves so come on now like uh nah man you don't you don't play that mess that's why when i saw that i i kept getting angry i was like oh no man you gotta go man like it's like especially if Django dies here i was like oh hell no and then he lived but yeah so yeah if something happens to Django in this season, whoever did it, I don't care. It's a Baxter. I'll go, I'll go, I'll be kamikaze. I go out with a suicide vest or whatever and be like, hey, Baxters. So it's from my dog, you assholes. Like something. something. So to that, so to that, I will say that with Big Mo saying uh Lil Mo is playing the long game, like, like, so so one of the Baxters may 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 not make it out at the end of the season. This won't be anytime soon. So it'll be interesting. The daughter. Be- the daughter. Do you think the daughter is gonna make it? It, it depends how much he, she and Adam get, get along and where, where, where that goes. If he's Car- Carlos, done, definitely, I'll say Carlos definitely going to die. The, the other son is definitely going to die. He's going to get killed by some, like, whether it be like Michael, like, it'll be an accidental death in the sense of like, like, I want to just stop, you know, just be like Walter White in that second episode when he wasn't really trying to suffocate the guys that try to kill him or whatever. And then they just happen to die. It's going to be some shit like that. Carlos is going to die. But I feel like it's gonna have to be another Baxter as well, to your point. So, so it it, it could be dark. Uh, Stacy, what, what do you think? Uh, Adam will die. Mike <laughs> will probably die. Um, Charlie might get killed too. Um, hmm. The neighbor, she might catch a bullet. Um, <laughs> the very observant nosy neighbor. The nosy neighbor, yeah. Eugene might um, kill Carlos. Somehow, maybe he finds out about he who I might catch a body. That will be awesome. That would be like perfect revenge. Him actually killing Carlo. No, nah, that, that would that would be the wire. <laughs> that would be the wire. <laughs> Carlos just walk around like he goo, and all of a sudden, some little kid just pops him in the head. <laughs> he 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 oh, for setting him up to be killed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then Big Mo might have to take him out. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Eugene needs Eugene out of anyone needs revenge on that bachelor family more than anyone. Like, but you know, like you, you, they took out his entire family. His son took out his brother. Was there any investigation into that, or they just absolutely said, not? Nah, it was a gas leak. Of, I, I'm gonna just say it like this: they're a bunch of niggas in the hood. That's how they look at it. Like just like Ice Cube said, in "Boys in the Hood." Like even though they don't know, they don't show, they don't really give. Give a damn what, what what goes on in the hood. Like that's just straight up. It's straight. It, it's sad, but in just just pockets in America like that. You know, it's just they just ignore that shit. They're like, oh, okay, well, all right, well, well, it must be gang on gang crimes. So there's no way, and no one's going to be talking. So so what's the whole point or whatever? Yeah, we'll open up an investigation, but it's not going to lead anywhere. We'll, just, we'll put that paperwork over here, but there's some real stuff going on, like people speeding. You know what I mean? Like 
it's it's that's just it's, that, it's a, I, that's Chris, what happens, man. It's it's a gas leak. Like that's what they were talking about at the table. It was a gas leak. That's why he was like, "What?" So I don't know if Carlo didn't know or he was trying to play stupid. I really don't think he knows. But like, no, no. The official the official answer is that it was a gas leak, and that's why the house. Yeah, blew. people make that shit up. You know what I mean? So it's like a, so they did like, investigate it. It's like they made up like, the whole coffee thing. And then Lee's the only one that's like, okay, something ain't right. Like, look at the brain. Like, like no, like, and that's why. And I feel like she's going to get too. Cl- I feel like she might die because she's going to get too close to figuring out like what really happened to coffee in, in prison. You know but the I mean? Bachelors want, like, I, I, I think they want the best. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We, we, we can't kill off the whole cast, so I mean, we, 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 we just, we just gotta see, like, hey, how it. They kind of <laughs> some Sons of Anarchy, Sons of Anarchy. They, 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 they killed off uh, almost everybody. In some, if, uh, if you saw Sons of Anarchy, they killed off just about everyone. All the main characters, yeah. But, but I mean, so, but some of the, like the, we'll see what happens. I mean, I mean, I, I, I see your point. There's a lot of people that deserve to die. We'll see who actually does make it or not. Um, but uh, it's still good. We still got uh, five more episodes, so this is a good turning point. It's a good, it's a good turning point in the season. Um, that was pretty good. But anyway, we'll see you next next week for episode six. Uh, again, if you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe to the channel and like on the video and comment on the video. Share the video. Uh, let us know why you're watching for your honor. Why you watch? Why you watch us talking about your honor? Um, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. And see you for power if you watch that.